Okay guys, so answer the question here. Is this a turbo 250C or a turbo 350C? Well, the answer is it is a turbo 350C. This is the original transmission in this cutlass. So it should answer the question that yes, they did come with them. Now, the way you tell is, I'll show you back here. There's your two cooler lines. You see right where the light's at, that's your two trans cooler lines. Back here behind it, just to the rearward of those, in that area where that light's pointing back there, you should, if you have a turbo 250, you'll have that band screw sticking out. It's like a screw with a nut snug down on it. So if you have one existing back there in any spot, that's a turbo 250 can't be anything else if it does not have that anywhere it is not a turbo 250 it's a turbo 350 so don't get confused right here you see right there this cover there's a see that bolt on it right there that's not it that's a pressure tab so that's not it so that's good news for me because you, you can get a all kinds of a shift kit for a turbo 350 but you can't get one for a turbo 250 they just don't make them they used to but they don't now so that's good news so all right that should help you guys if you're wondering what's what that's what and also let me point something else out too while well, i got the camera on about that uh, if you have a transmission in these cars and you're not sure, you know, you can't, if it does not have a modulator valve on it, a line leading to it, it's a turbo. Uh, if it's a three speed, if it only shifts three speeds and it does not say OD on the indicator in there, it's a turbo 200. It's a metric, it's the weak one. If it's a four speed and it has overdrive on it, that's a turbo 200 R4. Same basic transmission, just a little bit less crappy. So they're good transmissions when they're built up a little bit, no problem there. But all right. Enjoy guys. See ya.